Hi everyone. Right, I did say I will come back and show you how I'll do something very similar. I created uh, this picture frame. Sorry about that. So what I've done, I've started to gather all the things I need. I've got some little pearl string. I'm just making sure you can see. Can you straighten this up a little bit? Some uh, pearl string. I've got some bling if I want to use it. I've got some things to dangle from the sides if I want to use those. Got a little trinket there that I might want to put on. I've got the lace <coughs> in that. I've also got the lace like that that I want to show as well. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera out a little bit because I do want you to... That's it. And uh, I'm going to need a canvas. So I'm just going to get one of these. Let's get into them. Oops, a daisy. Oh, oh. There we go. So I've got my canvas uh, measures because they don't have to be big. Sorry, five by seven. Okay, I've also got a moulding that I did. I use that um, modelling clay that it air dries. So I've done a moulding. So they may want to pop it on. Well, I don't know. I could do it on the side. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. I've got it out if I want to use it. I may, I may not. Uh, I'm just going to put the lace out of the way. I'm going to tell you what I've done. I've taken an image off the internet. Like that. That's the image. Hope you can see that. I've backed it onto chipboard. And then I uh, just use the sanding paper, sanding paper, sandpaper to go around the edges, rough it up a little bit. And then I've used the black soot distress ink just to go around the edges again. And I'm just going to finish that off because I didn't quite um, do the edge like that. I mean, you're not going to really see this because I'm going to put some beading on. So, so what I'm going to do is create the picture first and do what I want to do with it. Uh, and then I'll get on and do the canvas, okay? So what I'm going to do with this now is um, I'm going to put the black lace on like this. I'll just undo a little bit. And I use, to cut this out, I just use that punch, which I don't use that often because I don't. <laughs> oh, what a day I've had. But never mind. Hopefully you can see I've got my coffee. So I have, to, oh look, I've got a I have just finished work. Want to make me coffee then? Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hopefully the uh, glue gun will be hot. Yes, it is. Now, just straighten this off so it's not quite straight. A little trick when you're doing uh, lace around the, an edge. If it's a flat lace, you pleat it as you're going along. That's fine. But if it's a gathered lace... People think that if you just pop it on like that, because it's gathered, it'll do. But it, it doesn't, because it puckers like that. So what you do do is you also gather the gathered lace. So I'm now going to, we'll start at the bottom. And I'm now going to show you um, how I do that. A little bit of glue to start off with. Take the lace, pop it on and push. Just push it into itself like that. And that gives you more of a gather, okay? And it stops, it lays flat then, and it stops it from puckering. Especially when you're going around the smaller area. Right, I do have um, a parcel that's come in. I now know who it's from, but I didn't. <laughs> and that's from... Um, Oops, let me just do this. Get 
my bit off. Um, a lady I call uh, Duchess, she named, nicknamed me Queenie and uh, I nicknamed her Duchess and we do chat back and forth. She's a lovely lady. Your parcel has arrived. Yeah, your email arrived before the parcel, so I, you know. But um, I've undone the box and taken everything out and it's all nicely wrapped and I'm absolutely thrilled but and eager to find out what it is, but I needed to get this done um, because I did promise this. So I will be sorting that out shortly, Duchess. And um, she sent a little gift for the girls as well. Bless the little cotton socks when they came up yesterday for a couple of hours. Well, for an hour it was. Um, they knew that Vicky, um, that's Var back in uh, Norway, was sending them a parcel. And they just said, had it arrived, Nana? And I went, no, darlings, but it will, it will. And you'll, uh, next time you come up at the weekend, there'll uh, be a parcel for you. Because um, they've seen mine and they said, oh, Nana. And I went, yes, I know. What I was going to do was wrap some things up and put them in the post <laughs> to be de delivered back here. <laughs> just so they had something to open, bless them. Right, so we've done that now, all the way around. It's now laying flat, but gathered. How's that? And then what we're going to do with that, just move this out of the way. It's funny, isn't it, kids? How funny they can be. Um, now, I've got my pearl strand, which is what I'm going to use. And now this is going to be glued on. And I always start at the bottom, pop probably to one side, so that if I was going to uh, attach a flower or anything, it would hide any of the joins. Now what I do is I just glue onto there first to start me off. And with this, because it's lace, you do have to um, hold it in place. Okay, so just push it around the edge. Oops. Any of the loose stuff can come off. That's all you do, and hold it on there. Like that, pushing it and pushing it in to the frame, into the edge of the frame. See, joined perfectly. Yeah, we can cover this bit with a flower because it's not, you know, it's not alternate just there, but that's nothing, it doesn't matter at all. Okay. And there we go, we've got that so far. Then I'm going to take the black bead in, again, start at the bottom. And this might have to be done in two parts. Well, what I'll do is I'll try and get it done in one and then I will speed it up where necessary. Okay. And the, the idea is, is not to, don't pull on your glue gun hand, you know, on the, on this. Don't pull it too hard. You just gently touch it till the glue starts to come out and there you only get little strands. You're only getting little bits. Because I never put heaps of glue on anything, never. Unless I really need something to bond, uh, you know, like the back of a brooch or something. And I know that a little bit won't do. Because um, you don't need it. Sometimes less is more. And like I was saying, I've also got another parcel that's come in, my, one of my American parcels, so I'm thrilled about that. So they'll be going up on the Etsy later on today. And um, I am doing kits, so uh, keep your eye out for them. I've got some awesome, awesome goodies in. So I'm forewarning you now, because they won't last. I, there's a lot of people asking me for things, and I haven't really, I can't... I don't know what that is, a bit of glue. 
I don't like that on her chin, that's marked that. Never mind. Um, I can't for, you know, uh, how can you say it? I can't email everybody that asks me about certain things um, and forewarn them of what's coming in or anything like that because I just don't, I don't have the manpowers when I do everything else so that's why I keep saying watch the Etsy right let me just sort this out I hope I'm in shot, hope, oh, hope I'm in see, probably not just cut that bit off like that and then what I might have to do is just push that one in place but that's fine like I say we can put a flower on that that doesn't matter at all there now not exactly straight but it's just a tutorial to show you okay so we've got that I always put a flower here as well just to even that up oh there it's come off a chin so there you go so We've got that up to now. Now, I'm also going to put, um, let me just see what I've got. Um, I want like a little flower or something. Something flat. Oh, I've got something. Eight. Oh, no, it's going to something else. Let me have a look. Mm, no, I don't like that. Um, let's see. I just want a tiny wee thing for a hair. No. Right, we'll find something else. We'll probably put her a little flat pearl in, maybe. Oh, bling. Bling, bling, bling. Got some bling. Let's see about putting some bling in. Okay. But I have some of these now. I do have somewhere. There we go. Um, do you know what? I know somebody sent me this, uh, pick me up. But look at all that that's wasted. I can't get any more out of it. Right, and no matter how many times I've undone it and pushed it down, it I, it's all dried and stuck. Well, not dried, but it's stuck in there, and I just think that's a shame because I can't get any more out. So I'm hoping I've got enough just on the very end to do this. So let's see. Hopefully, just enough. Little dob of glue on the end. Now, where do I want this? Uh, I think we'll have it here. Like that. Okay. I'm only going to use three of these. Let's just have some bit of bling in her hair. Oopsie daisy. Like that. And one more. Not quite holding it, I don't think. Yeah, I'll spin that round. Don't worry about any of this glue here. You can pull all of that off. That's it. Choose your nail, pull it off, come straight off. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. All I'll have to do is pop these back in. There you go. Now, what I'm also going to do is uh, we'll do the charm. So that's ready now to go on the project. I hope you can see that. Okay. So just pop that to one side. Next, we're going to do the charm. Now, I do have this that's already... Um, well, we could use that. I don't see a problem. Uh, let me just try and sort this out leave that there to take the bead off Put my uh, pliers I'm going to put oops, a split ring on it put that back together 
Yeah, that's fine. And then this is going to be fitted on to the hook, which I want to take off this one. Oops, fiddly, fiddly. Oh, come on, Fee. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to pop this onto here so that that's made up ready. And then we just clip that back into place. I use my teeth. I've got pliers and pincers, but I use my teeth. But there you go. So we've got that up to now. Um, but I'm going to put a little bit more blingy blingy on it. And I've got these little uh, silver ball things. They're not balls, they're ovals. Get around. Um, and all I'm going to do is start, just got my computer going off, start at the top and I'm just going to add one on like that. Okay, just do it like that. Take the next one, open it up. That's on that side. I'll clip that back together. Here's another one. Let's clip that back together. And the last one. Only because I like them. I didn't want to waste them. I'm going to clip that back together. Oh, my hands won't do, they won't work today. So, I've now ended up with that. Okay. Nice little dangly bit. Um, and I don't want that one now, so we'll put those back in the box. Um... But I'm going to take the heart off. Shall I take the heart off? No, I'm going to, I'll add to it. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to take this one off, I think. If I can get that to come off. Add that one on. So I'm just swapping these links because that one was a bit big, the first one. Okay taking another link which is a bigger one adding that and adding it to that let me just make sure I've got that pinned in okay and just press that down together there you are, I've got my charmy bit that I want, okay? So that's going to go on as well, so we'll just add that over there. Right, we've moved them out of the way, I want those for later. Pin that back together, get rid of the tools, put the scissors back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the canvas and all it is is painting it uh black might do something else with it as well let me just see right here we are i've got some mod podge sparkle so i'm going to be doing that but first of all i have to do the black okay and <laughs> just going to start off doing the edges and it's really quick and easy okay I could do the back but I'm not going to I don't see the point in wasting paint little bit more paint Ooh. 
Do do it that way. Okay. And then just hope you can see this. Let me just check. Oh, not really. Oh. And as the heat touches it, it changes the colours. So that's fine for that, for now. So now what I'm going to do, and you can see that... Um, I think we'll have it that way there's more of a colour on that side and we're going to attach this now I know some of you might do it like that or you know like that I always like to be slightly different uh, just to give it another dimension and that's to do this now I'm not going to put that much on there I'm actually going to cut this because I don't want to waste and there's enough here what I'm going to cut off to do a tag so don't waste it I just pop that to one side okay now first of all all I did hold it on when I wanted it and then just some glue in one end pull that right over like that and you do do that but you can paint that up where the glues come through that's nothing it's because it's tool and then turn it on its side and pop a little bit of glue in there and then Pop that over, like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring it over this side. So I've put it on like that. And then I'm going to pull that over and fold it. Like that. And because it is beaded and that, it is a bit bulky. So when you... Uh, let's keep that there. You can trim a lot of that out. That's nothing. Just trim it off the corner. So we've got that fitted now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it like that. And then we do the same on this side. So we we'll pull that over. Like that. I can cut that first. Like that. A little bit of glue there. Pop that on, and then we're going to tuck that in. And all you do is pop a little bit of glue on the top, pull that down like that, pop a bit more glue in there, and just glue that down. And then you fold that back over, so you're pulling it like that. Like that. And hold that down. You do get covered in glue. Sorry if it's not in shot. You do get covered in glue, but um, hey, 
all the fun of doing this. I just disregard that. Or discard, should I say. Not disregard it, silly old. Uh, and there you go. Now, I'm just going to glue this bit down. Like that. That's fine, and I'm happy with that. See, we've got lots of glam and glitter on it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of these. Oh, get the other scissors, lady. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to take this one off. I think that's stuck actually. This is the one I'm after. Okay. Um, I think we'll have it there. I don't mess about, just put it on. I um, don't have time for messing about, to be honest. Take my little um, love. That's what it says. It's a diamante one. I'm just going to pop that right there. Like that. Take the picture that I've done and place that here. But before I do that, I'm just going to put the uh, trimming on the bottom. I need enough of this to fasten around. The bottom section now hopefully I've got enough glue just the glue on the top to start with so you've got it in position like that okay and then what I do take it around the corner Cut any excess off that you don't want, and then just glue that down like that. Okay. Now I don't want this tassel here, so I can take that one off and take that one out there, and then we do the same to the other side. Just like that. Take that tassel out. Don't waste the tassel, you're going to need it in a minute. Well, I would if I'd have done the same picture I was doing before, I'll put it that way. Never waste them anyway. Brush them down. And therefore we've got that. Like that. Let's trim any edges up. We just trim that up. Like that. Move all that away. Okay. So now we've got that. I'm also going to take hold of the... Look at me, I'm covered in glue. Um, the hook or crab claw and just hook it in that's all you need to do somewhere find a place to hook it in let me see because I can't see <laughs> I've no light and can't see it's just to find that's it that'll do there so I've just hooked that in at the side like that I'm now going to place my picture when I want it, which is there, I think. Yeah, might need another glue stick. Let me just get this in. I 
I do put plenty on for these because you don't want them to come off. Turn it the right way. Place it on your canvas and press. And then what we're going to do is just take off the other few trimmings which I think this one will use for this section here. And we just glue that onto there like that. Because you can have them anywhere you want them, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to build my own up like that. That will do me. See, like that. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is take one of these and just trim it round like that. See, I've got that. And then glue it and stick this underneath there, like that. So it now hangs off that. See? And the difference it makes now. Okay. And I'm just going to poke the glue gun underneath just to hold that down. That's it. That will now just hold that down. So that's just basically putting one uh, a basic frame together. Very quick, very easy, and um, <sighs> what you can do now, what you can do, what have I done with it? We don't know. Uh, you could put some glossy accents on the lips. Um, and things like that but I'm just showing you how quick and easy it is to put a little canvas together now I can do the edges if I want which I probably will do I don't know I like it as it is to be honest I could have gone all the way around the edges with lace but I chose not to do that and uh, and just show you how quick and easy it is to make that Right, I'm going to be back shortly and do um, the gift <laughs> and the parcel that's coming from America. So I shall be back with you soon. Take care. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>